Hey, Scott, how you doing? Good, where's yourself? Yeah, good, sorry about that. I'll, uh, I'll have a chat to the Minions a little bit later. That's all right, no drama. G'day, Craig. <laughs> what can I help you with? <laughs> um, so we're trying to find a, a manager for the Wagga site, which you know about. We're using Seek, Indeed, Facebook, etc. Um, we're having really no joy whatsoever even getting applicants. Um, we've only had four or five in the last two weeks or so, and, and um, you know they've all been no good. Actually, most of them haven't even got to the phone interview stage. So, um, yeah, I've done one phone interview, uh, and, and I'm just wondering what can I do uh, to find people or attract people. It's it's a fairly um, important job, obviously, running a, a manager's job. But yeah, I just can't find even applicants, let alone anybody useful, out of that little bit of a pool that I've got. Yeah, um, I guess uh, the, the first thoughts that pop into my head are there's obviously headhunting. So is there is yeah. there anybody in town you could go and have coffee with to check if they are unhappy with their current uh, current boss, current company? Um, so that, uh, that, that would be one way to go. And then, of course, yeah, sure. how, how qualified do they need to be to be valuable to you? Like, like cause some businesses, when it comes to being a manager, a manager just being a good manager is enough as a transferable skill to go to any industry. Yeah, well, that's really what I'm looking at. So I want to put a little bit of management skill, preferably a bit of cleaning uh, experience, but not necessarily so. But yeah, someone who can definitely manage the clients and the team, they're the two biggest roles. <clears throat> so I guess if you were to look outside of cleaning, I wonder, are there any other kind of management people in Wagga that you could say, hey, listen, you know, I mean, literally, you could probably throw them out cleaning for seven days and, and they'll have enough sympathy for how to do a good job as a manager. Um, you just need yeah. somebody who knows how to schedule, you know, lead people, uh, those sort of things. So I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm just super curious to kind of go, do they need to have any experience in cleaning or should you just go out for... Should you go out to the local person who's running the, you know, whatever, the, some, some sales team or some, you know, some project manager or something where the skill of management is transferable and then train them and, and, and I guess show them how to do the cleaning side, but they're just a good manager? Yeah, yeah I think that's definitely an option. Um, I've always said you can, you know, teach anyone to clean. It's not that hard, really. It's not brain surgery. So um, if I don't have cleaning skills specifically, not necessarily a problem so just, just in a way like my yeah, thoughts got to are people skills yeah the best sporting coaches weren't the best players necessarily so you know yeah, ra true. rather than find somebody who's a good cleaner and bring them up as manager which doesn't necessarily translate to the right skill set right um you know you you yeah. might be better off to find somebody who's a good manager and a secondary cleaner and 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 if they don't even have any experience cleaning they're still human so they understand what cleaning is. It's not like we're trying to teach them, you know, neuroscience. We're trying to teach them Glen 20, no, Glen 20 and cloth and how to make sure you get into corners. You know, like it's, 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 yeah. it's, a, it's a nice, simple business. So, so I, I, guess, I guess as I'm shooting the breeze with you, I'm sitting here thinking, just go around town and say, hey, you know, keep your radar out for anybody who's a good manager in almost any capacity and say, hey, listen, would you like a new opportunity to come and, you know, grow a division with me? And you'll, you'll probably find some people that do. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's a good option. Um, Otherwise, find other cleaning companies, ring them up and say, hey, listen, I'm not trying to poach you, but can we have coffee? Which is code for I'm probably trying to poach you. Um, yeah, it'd be harder in uh, the other cleaning companies around town. Most of them are owner-operated, so it'd be very hard to sort of headhunt a manager when they already own the business. Um, it's, it's, there's not a lot of people running cleaning businesses around here for other people. So, so maybe here's the opportunity. Struggle, here's the opportunity to do a little acquisition again then. Here's the opportunity for you to yeah, go yeah, find well, one I'm of those people that <laughs> find one of those people that is a owner operator that doesn't like running the business side of things and roll their business into yours and then you get a manager and some revenue. Yeah, yeah now that that would be fun. I don't mind doing stuff like that. that yeah. I'm always on the lookout for that anyway. Uh, good, the good, acquisition good. side of things that is. All right, well, it doesn't really help you something too practically, but I just think broaden your horizon and don't stick to somebody who's got cleaning experience and a manager. Yeah, yeah, no, I've, I've you, got some ideas. You might, have to, you might have to actually grow them instead of find them off the shelf. <laughs>